guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Elite from, of course, Elite the Phoenix. And today I have a story time for you guys. This story time is so funny because my mom dead seriously called the police on me. Ugh, like, I never thought this would happen. Like, I thought she was like, you know, sh she ain't gonna say nothing if the knocks, if the knocks come a cop and if the cops come a knocking. And while she is, <laughs> in actuality, my ride or die, in this moment, she called the police on me and I literally shit my pants. So here we go. Let's get into this crazy story. Will you just get to know a little bit more about me? Okay, so boom. <laughs> okay, no, I really always wanted to do that. Everybody does that and I, I'm freaking from New York too. So I should do it like, already. All right, okay, so boom. Okay, so a boom like that right that yeah, was good okay anyways so the story um let me paint the picture i'm 14 15 years old all of my life uh <laughs> all my life i had like all my life i've been like very well behaved i'm one of six i really didn't do that much to misbehave even though like all my friends were mad tough like most of my friends when i was really young like they were all good kids but they were like they snuck out they did stuff that most teenagers and preteens do that i didn't do because i came from just a very strict um household honestly um but yeah so i'm hanging out with my friends now i'm getting a little bit more freedom over the summer and some of my friends friends were stealing right a lot of kids at 15 oh well, I think probably between like 12 and 15 16 even though I knew people in college who still stole um that's around the time you steal right it's an excitement it's a rush especially when you're a kid and you ain't got no money I had no money so um I saw multiple times my friends stealing even sometimes I would go even when I was going with them to the mall, they were stealing. I would never do it, but I always saw that, you know, they got away with it, scot-free, nothing ever happened. You know, some of my friends were crazy. Like one of my friends stole a stroller, like that's crazy. So uh, and she got away with it, no problem, never got caught or anything. So I'm like, all right, well, let's steal now. Um, so I stole the first time, um, we got a lot of stuff, like, it's crazy and i'll tell you guys all that story if you want to hear it but we got a lot of stuff and that time if i were to get caught would have been nuts but i didn't get that caught that time and so because i had so much stuff i was like yo this is real like you could just do this and i'm like 14 years old i don't know why i didn't think about the actual like you're stealing chick don't do that i didn't think about it but anyways me and my girlfriend we worked at the same job as well and so after work we went to the mall um and her mother was gonna pick us up so when we went to the mall we went into a department store i'm not gonna say which one because i still have like those little pings that they'll know what's me even though i look nothing like how i looked in when i was like 14 hashtag glow up in the best way not that i was but ugly by any means um but yeah i digress we go into this department store and we're like yo you want to do this like she looks at me i look at her and we just like yeah let's do it <laughs> and so we're thinking we're badasses like i'm going to the store i take like a pair of sunglasses get myself a nice wallet i'm like that's mine that's mine five finger discount and i'm thinking we're good right i didn't take that much i might have taken a tank top too or i think she was trying to give me a tank top i was like nah i'm good with this set right here <laughs> And so we're walking out because her mom had just been checking out. We had our stuff like securely um, stashed. And so we're heading out. And as we're walking to the door, like we see these people running and we're very close to the door. So we're like, I would say maybe within five feet of the door, these people are like a few feet behind us. And they're like, <laughs> this big guy and this smaller guy, the two security guys are like, stop, stop. And we're like, what the hell? My heart literally drops into my butt as soon as i realize they're security guards they run up they're like stop don't leave don't leave and they literally her mom stops us as soon as we get you know when you're walking out of a store there's the doors and there's like a little bit of space like a foyer kind of and then there's doors again so you can wait in there if it's cold or rainy or something we're in that area and they stop us right before we get onto the sidewalk this will be important because I'll let you know later. Um, they stop us. They're like, listen, you guys need to empty your pockets. Have you guys been stealing? It's your parent. And so she's like, what is this? Her mom already just like immediately, like, what is this? What are they talking about? I'm, I, I'm just like <laughs> speechless. Didn't know what to say. Never been caught doing anything bad in my entire life. 
don't know what to do. I'm just standing there. So eventually they we empty our pockets, right? They take us upstairs. And while we're walking upstairs, this freaking security guard's like, man, if I were you, um, I would have I would have taken something more because you know, once you get out of the store, there's no way we can prove that you actually stole it. So that's why we're running so I can stop you. And I'm like, oh, thank you. In case I was actually a serial thief, you just gave me the tip that I just need to make it out of the store. Literally off that out of that um past the threshold to be scot-free. Thank you for telling me that as you're taking me upstairs to penalize me for stealing. Come on now. And so I'm just like annoyed that he's saying, oh, you guys didn't do it right. He's like basically taunting us when we're already caught. It's dumb late at night. And now we gotta call my mom. And so my mom has to come out here. And so they're sitting us in the room. Then they separate us into separate rooms. And the guy's just like, why would you do that? Like, was it worth it? There's the big security guard is um, the bigger one. He's like living as military dreams. He's like, so glad we caught them, Mike. That's another guy's name. We'll just make that up. Like, so glad we caught them, Mike. Yeah, you know, like one more before the night was ended. And he's like, sit down here. I hope you learned your blessing. I'm calling your mother and trying to make me scared, but I'm like, listen, you're not scarier than my mom. So I'm scared for her. You are nothing, just so you know. Calls my mom, my mom gets there. My friend's mom is pissed that we even stole because now she's been held up much longer and then she had to wait for my mom to drive from the town over. My mom comes in, the security guard is just being an an ass, in all honesty, living out his military dreams, thinking my mom was gonna be like, thank you so much for not calling the police on my daughter. Like, as if I wasn't guilty. My mom doesn't play that. She came in and was really stern because she was already pissed at me. She just wanted to get her daughter so she could administer discipline. And I just wanted to stay there because I didn't want to go with her. And so the security guard's like, excuse me, ma'am, I'm the one who, who um, who saved them from the police? I'm the reason why they're not going. Like, you should be thanking me. And my mom's like, excuse me? I should be thanking you? Listen, you were doing your job, blah, blah, blah. My mom is the queen of like educational beatdowns. She doesn't get ghetto. She will just be like, your mind will get blown. And you're just standing there like, oh, and she called my manager and she called corporate. Dang. So that's how my mom is. And in the end, long story short, she basically was like, listen, you're not doing me a favor at all. You could call the police. Matter of fact, I'll call them myself. I'm here behind at first, like, come on, get, get them. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, no, mom, no, mom, no. <laughs> she calls the freaking police. The police show up. I'm bawling at this point, like, sniffling, like, <laughs> you know that one where you can't breathe, and you can't talk, so you're literally just in between sniffles. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, the officer let me sit in the front seat um, to make me feel better because I was crying so bad. He's like, I'm sorry, sweetie. I have to take you anyways. Like, you need to learn your lesson. Basically, my mom talked to the cops and was like, I need them to learn the lesson. Well, I think that's what she did. But either way, I learned my friend lesson. I've never stolen since. But I didn't actually have to get um, any pictures taken. I wasn't necessarily booked. Um, it was tossed out. Nothing actually happened to me. I don't have a record or anything, but I did learn my lesson because I was a good kid. I was doing community service, so I didn't have to serve any time or do any community service. It was just like, that was dumb. Pay like $16 for the stuff. Just really dumb. And um, I will never steal again. I literally can't steal. If I think about stealing, my stomach starts twisting. Um, I have flashbacks. And for some reason, I start speaking um, nonsense. <laughs> no, it's not that serious at all, but I just can't steal anymore. It definitely taught me my lesson and um, I'm grateful for that because now I'm an upstanding citizen. <laughs> I hope you really like this story time. Please subscribe. Subscribe down below. That way you know whenever I post a new video, I actually have a few more story times coming up. So that way you'll be notified whenever I post them. Um, like it. Give me those thumbs up. Comment down below what you would do in this moment if you've ever been caught stealing by like a parent or the store and what happened to you because it's the worst. And then, oh, tell me if it actually stopped you from stealing. All right, so I guess that's it. Remember that you are all uniquely, creatively, and genuinely put on this planet, created, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope you're having a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are, whenever you are, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.